I invite the children to come forward for the children's message. <clears throat> Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Good? A little cold outside? Not bad, huh? A little cold. What do I have here in my hand? A Bible. And what is a Bible? What, what is this? It, what does it do? It tells us about God. What's another, another name that we give this book? We call it the Bible. We call it the Holy Bible. We call it Scripture. What else do we call it? We call it the Word of God, right? It's the Word which tells us about God. Just like you say, it's the Word of God, okay? Now, Let's say I were to open up this Bible to, oh, I don't know, I'm just going to find something in here, to the chapter 3 of the book of Acts, and I read, one day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer, and at 3 in the afternoon. Is that God talking? Am I talking or is God talking? Whose mouth is moving? It's my move. I'm doing the talking, right? Or let's say you go home, and your mom opens up the Bible and she reads from it. Is that God talking or your mom talking? Or let's say you're at Sunday school and the teacher opens up the Bible and reads from the Bible. And she, is it your teacher talking or, or God talking? Okay. However, now I have another question for you. What are they saying? What are they talking? What words are coming out of their mouth? Are they reading from a book that they wrote or are they reading from the Word of God? Okay, so if I'm reading from the book of Isaiah, nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who are in distress. I might be doing the talking, but what are the words coming out of my mouth are the word of God, right? You see, that's how the word of God works. So whenever you hear a pastor or a parent or a Sunday school teacher reading from the Bible and you're hearing those words, guess what you're hearing? You're hearing the word of God, right? Now, if I were to open up the Bible and say to you, <clears throat> excuse me, it says here that Jesus left the temple and was walking away, but I think instead Jesus stayed in the temple, what then would I be telling you? I'd be telling you my own opinions, right? I'd be telling you something that isn't true. See, when we read the Word of God, when we read Scripture, we don't speak for ourselves. We're speaking for God. And really, since it is the Word, it's God speaking through us, right? So whenever you hear your pastor preach, or your Sunday school teach, Sunday school teacher teach, or even your parent read to you the Bible, they're reading the Word of God. And it is the Word of God that is proceeding from their mouth. Right? And that's good news, because what does that tell us about God? That He wants to speak to us. Right? And that He uses ways, He uses means, methods to speak to us that we can understand. Right? What if it was God to, to speak to us if all of a sudden we come to church and the church starts thundering and shaking everywhere and then God speaks and comes down and says boom, boom and makes a big loud speaking noise to us? That'd be scary, wouldn't it? And in fact, it even says in the Bible that no one can hear or see God. No one can even be in the presence of God and stand. So God instead comes to us through his word. And he uses people to bring us his word. And that's good news for us because we get to hear all about Jesus we get to hear all about what he did for us on the cross, right? By simply opening the Bible and reading it, by coming to church on Sundays and hearing it, we get to hear about Jesus. And that's what we're talking about today, is Jesus being in our presence. Not literally standing right here, right, like in his robe and his crown of thorns, but being in our presence through his word, which is preached and spoken and taught in Sunday school. And we can trust that. Okay? So let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for coming to us in your word, in our baptisms, and in the Lord's Supper. We ask that you continue to come to us in this place as we come together to worship you and to give you thanks for the wonderful things you've done for us. Keep us safe in our days ahead and bring us back again here to be with you. We ask this in your name. Amen. You get the suckers. Okay. As he gets the suckers, we continue with our sermon hymn. 